breaking news welcome to today's headlines war coming nigerians react as hyper threatens to burn houses attack nigerian army orders over unamdekano cy war coming nigerians react as hyper threatens to burn houses Attack Nigerian army, orders over Unamdekano, CY. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. The trays and the adjournment case of IPOP's leader, Unamdekano, have been staring different reactions on social media, even his fans. And Nigerian celebrities, including Yul Edochi, Rita, and others, have reacted to it by sharing their thoughts in different ways and manners. This article contains more information about the IPOPS leader, Onamdekanu, on his tree, on his trials, and other related news. How IPOP threatens attacks and sends strong warnings to Nigerian army over Unamdekano trails. IPOP said on Wednesday that the Nigerian army has burned down more than 30 houses in Nenugu, Imo, and Ebbon State in the last week. These homes Belong belonged to innocent people, the group said. The pro B Afro group said that the people who were hurt were targeted because they were sympathizers of Igbo members of the Igbo. It, however, said that the people of the army will have to pay for what they did. Igbo people and homes in southeast of Nigeria are at risk because the governors and regional security group, Ebube Agu, are working with the military to kill Igbo people and burn down their homes in Map Powerful, this spokesman for the group said in a statement on Wednesday. Hypop's Global Family led by its great leader and prophet, Mazi Unamdekano, says that anyone who helps Nigerian soldiers and the infamous Ebube Ago security outfit burn the houses of innocent people suspected of being IPOP members of Biafra supporters in the southeastern state, including the governors of those states, will be held accountable. In Nigeria, the group IPOP called the attention of foreign missions to the alleged genocide in Himo State. We are putting the world on notice, particularly the American Embassy in Abuja, the British High Commissioner in Abuja, the Israeli ambassador in Abuja, the Russian embassy in Abuja, the French embassy in Abuja, the India embassy in Abuja, and the Canadian embassy in Abuja. This is what they said. How caught other secret police DSS to release Unamdekanu's glasses to him? Justice Binta Unyako of the Federal High Court in Nabuja has told the Department of State Services to give back Unamdekano's reading glasses right away. During a court hearing on Wednesday, Mike Ozekome, one of Kano's lawyers, said that if nothing was done quickly to save Kano's sight, his client could go blind. 
when his client was arrested in 2015, he says that the DSS took his glasses. He says that he says that was when he had just come back from the UK. He also told the court that a new pair of shoes that Kano bought was also taken from him when he was taken from Kenya. My lord, he hasn't worn glasses since 2015. The one he wore before he was taken from Kenya was also taken from him. Until now, he doesn't have glasses and his eyesight is getting worse. My lord, we don't want the defendant to go blind, so we are going to tell the court about it. Also, as Zekome said, the DSS had not let his client change clothes, even though the court had told them to. Remember that on January 18, there was a meeting. When Justice Unyako told the Department of State Services, DSS, to let Kano change his clothes, he said that was the right thing to do. In what he said, he said that the security agency didn't let Kanu get new clothes that his younger brother had brought for him from home. Former All Progressives Grand Alliance National Chairman Chief Victor Ume says the President Muhammad Buhari made a simple case of Mazi Unamdekanu which is too simple for Nigerian to deal with on to deal with on its own. Ome said that keeping the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra in prison by the federal government was unfair to the Igbo people. During a celebration of the most reverend Dr. Valerian Okeke Archbishop of the Onisha Catholic Archdiocese. In Onisha, the former APGA leader said, said is, it's been 20 years since I became an Archbishop. It was not the best way to handle Kano's case. He said, adding that the case was too big for Nigeria to deal with on its own. So my third listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.